Hello students, myself Sagar Choksi from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So, in previous session, we have started a new concept that is statistical quality control and variable and attributes and that we have already completed in last session. So, in today's session, we are going to discuss about normal distribution curve. Okay. So, in today's session, we will discuss about normal distribution curve and number two that is Six Sigma concept. So, let's start the lecture, lecture number 29 that related to normal distribution curve. Okay. So, now the first and important question that is normal distribution curve. What do you understand by normal distribution curve? Okay. So, basically it is like a bell curve. Okay, I have attached one image that related to normal distribution curve. It is like a bell curve and the normal distribution curve is symmetrical at the center. So here you can see in image mu is the center line. Okay, after that 1 sigma, 2 sigma and 3 sigma. Okay, and there, there are minus 1 sigma, minus 2 sigma and minus 3 sigma. Ultimately, there are six sigma concept. First of all, it is like a bell curve. The normal distribution curve is symmetric at the center. What is the center? Center is mu. After that, one sigma, two sigma, and three sigma. You can see in image minus one sigma, minus two sigma, minus three sigma. You can also see in image. So now the question is, what is the percentage wise distance between minus one sigma to mu? So here you can see in image that 34.1 percentage. Okay, the distance between minus one sigma to mu that is 34.1 percentage. So it is a symmetrical curve. It is the normal distribution curve. So mu to my uh, mu to one sigma. The distance between mu to one sigma percentage wise that, that is 34.1. So the distance between minus one sigma to one sigma. Okay, overall percentage, overall percentage, the value is 68.2. Okay, so basically normal distribution curve is like a bell curve. It is symmetrical at the center. The center we will take mu and minus 3 sigma, minus 2 sigma, minus 3 sigma. Okay, and this is what 6 sigma concept. Okay, so this is what minus 1 sigma to 1 sigma. Now we will take minus 2 sigma to 2 sigma. So, the distance between minus 2 sigma to minus 1 sigma, the percentage ratio is 13.6 percentage. Okay. And 1 sigma to 2 sigma, that is that is 13.6 percentage. Okay. Because ultimately that is normal distribution curve. It is like a bell curve. Okay. So, the distance between minus 2 sigma to 2 sigma, that is 13.6 plus 34.1 plus 34.1 plus 13.6. So that is 95.4 percentage. Okay. So now we will calculate the distance between minus 3 sigma to 3 sigma concept. Okay. So the distance between minus 3 sigma to minus 2 sigma, that is 2.1 percentage and 2 sigma to 3 sigma, the distance between 2 sigma to 3 sigma in percentage wise, that is 2.1 percentage. So, the overall distance, overall distance between minus 3 sigma to 3 sigma in percentage wise that is 99.7 percent. So, this is what 6 sigma concept minus 3 sigma to 3 sigma that this is what 6 sigma concept. Overall minus 1 sigma to 1 sigma that is 68.2 percentage then minus 2 sigma to 2 sigma that is 95.4 percentage and minus 3 sigma to 3 sigma that is 99.7 percentage. So basically normal distribution curve is like a bell curve. It is symmetrical at the center. The center we will take mu and minus 3 sigma minus 2 sigma minus 3 sigma. Okay. And this is what 6 sigma concept. 
okay so move forward to next topic next and important parameter that is objectives of normal distribution curve so the first and important objective is normal distribution curve follow the normal law and it is called probability curve okay number 2 and main function is it is the frequency curve obtained with the help of with the help of a very large number of observation okay that related to sqc concept that related to statistical quality control concept that related to six sigma concept number 3 and important step is it is also called as a bell curve and fourth one and important one is it is a distribution that occur normally in many situation so this is what a normal distribution curve okay it is like a bell curve and it is symmetrical at the center normal distribution curve follow the normal law and it is called probability curve so this is what objectives or you can take functions of normal distribution curve now we will discuss about properties of normal distribution curve okay so the first and important one that is the mean mode and medium are all equal because ultimately the center is symmetrical okay the mean mode and medium are all equal so to an important one that is the curve is symmetric at the center the center we have already taken as a mu okay we we have already taken minus 3 sigma minus 2 sigma minus 1 sigma mu 1 sigma 2 sigma and 3 sigma so now the curve is symmetric at the center third and important property is exactly half of the value are to the left of the center and exactly half of the value are to the right because ultimately the curve is symmetric at the center okay fourth one and important parameter is the total area under the curve is 100% or you can take one okay the value of total area that is one so basically this was the, these are the properties of normal distribution curve the mean mode and medium are all equal number 2 that is the curve is symmetric as a center we have already taken mu minus 1 sigma minus 2 sigma minus 3 sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma and 3 sigma exactly half of the value are to the left side and exactly half of the value are to the right side because ultimately this is what symmetrical okay fourth one that is the total area under this particular curve is 1 so this is what properties of normal distribution curve so move forward to next question next question that related to six sigma concept or you can take limits okay so here i have attached one table so that you can directly understand six sigma concept so here i have added two different column first column indicate specification limit and number 2 second column that indicate percentage of percentage of total area within specific limit there are two column here first column that related to specification limits and number 2 second column that related to percentage of total area within the specified limit so the first one that is mu plus or minus sigma so the total percentage that is 68.26 that we have already find out in normal distribution curve number 2 second and important one that is mu plus or minus 2 sigma so that area that is 95.46 that we have already find out in normal distribution curve third one that is mu plus or minus 3 sigma so ultimately we have already find out the value of mu plus or minus 3 sigma that is 99.73% so this is what a six sigma concept or you can take six sigma concept limits okay so this is what a six sigma concept so thank you thank you so much in this particular session we have completed normal distribution curve that related to bell curve and six sigma concept or you can also take six sigma concept limits so in next session we will discuss about operational characteristic curve okay so thank you thank you so much